Karen, Karen, that one. <laughs> what do you think, James? Wow. I'll put a good reference in where we are somewhere in the stream here. But I think we're on the second part of going through the forest. And this is where it really is boggy, ultra boggy. But the main path is over there. We've came off the main path to come into the woods a little bit. And so far, so good. Would you agree, Cam? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. fantastic because you're you know you don't realize you're climbing that was a pure ascent and <laughs> god it was tough
going down there, but you know, the, the terrain wasn't too bad, so that's good. So now we're heading up our second one. It has a Gaelic name, so I'm not going to pronounce it, but James will put the name in. Um, I'm sure it's 916, so, and it looks as if it's got its nice zigzag path all the way up, which just makes it easier. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this one, and then it's all the way down. We're heading down to the swamp. It's not a bog, it's a swamp. And if you're thinking about um, doing this walk with um, your trainers on, mistake, absolute mistake. You must have full walking boots, even gaiters and waterproof trousers to be reasonably comfortable. And even at that, if you don't pick your line through the swamp, it's not a bog, it's a swamp, you'll pay the price. So Karen and I went through deeper into the woods, like about 10 metres into the tree line and it was a little bit better than following the main path. Don't follow the main path if you're doing this route. Nightmare, absolute nightmare. Go deeper into the woods about 10 metres and it's a little bit better. Do not come here. I mean there's a, there's a proper river crossing, a proper river crossing. Thankfully, we had different shoes and changed into them. Um, but that's all part of the adventure. There's a demarcation of where the swamp is. Those trees. Okay, okay so that's us come off the grassy bit, which was still quite swampy, but this, and I don't know if James can put it too, is pretty much like this all the way downhill. Now coming up, I think it's easier, so it'll be quite interesting going down, that we can get down here without getting knee deep in muck or skidding our ass. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, we're going to Swampland. How is that, James? Oh my God! Do you want to report anything? Right, the things that I'm going to report is that's not a bog, that is a swamp! S-W-E-M-P-P-P -P -P exclamation mark! However, if you're smart and as you're heading up the trail starts to branch right and left go left and go deeper about 10 metres in the woods and it's a lot, lot better Swamp!
so it's not an illusion or a, a, a gimmick thing. We're going back over the River Lockie and we've changed our footwear out of our full walking boots into something more appropriate. So that's what Cam's doing just now. And you're going to wear flip flops, you're okay with your flip flops? Yeah. Just dump them beside mine, I'll put them in the bag. Oh, can't wait to go over this water with my feet, I think. Because every time I come off a Monroe, I struggle with that last maybe half hour back to the car. This is going to be amazing. Cold water, my feet are burning. Okay, so it's going to be brilliant. Challenging three kilometers, one point eight miles. Okay, so this is us in the Glen Lockie car park. We came over here from Stirling to Tyndrum to Glen Lockie to go up the two Monroes in the background, Ben Louis, and the one that's got this, the the Gaelic name named down here. So Ben Louis, I'm just reading it off the, the the sign. Ben Louis is one thousand one hundred thirty meters. Um, not sure, 918 metres was the second one. And how long did it take us, Karen? It took us six and a half hours. So six and a half hours from start to finish. Yep. And any other sort of features when you tell the viewers? Brilliant. A brilliant walk, but really boggy. No, no, it's not really boggy. It's a swamp. It's a swamp. The only thing that's missing is crocodiles. But it really is swampy. But do you know what? It's really good. Um, glad we'd done it. The end bit of the water was fantastic. Um, weather was fine. At first we got here we didn't even know if we were going to get out of the car because it was so bad but I'm glad we did. Um, so yeah, so it was good. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that and if you did, be thumbs up would be nice. A um, little comment to say, whatever comments you want to say. Think about subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego for me. And it wouldn't out for me. <laughs>